Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be covering server PSUs and why I think they are an amazing option for your mining needs. Typically in, you know, in, in, in regular or kind of like beginner uh, crypto mining environments, most people would use a kind of like a regular ATX power supply. And this last year, those have become quite rare, especially the ones with high wattage and quite expensive. So an alternative to that is using server uh, PSUs. There are a little bit of kind of like misconceptions and people think that, you know, they're too complicated or, you know, they don't know how to use them or maybe they're not safe and uh, that's not the case. Server PSUs are typically used in servers. They generally tend to run a little bit louder than normal ATX uh, PSUs, uh, but they are kind of like smaller, more comp uh, compact uh, and they're significantly cheaper. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the PSUs that I got, which are from Parallel Miner. This is not a kind of like an affiliated video and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I've just used their products and I think they are uh, amazing for, uh, for their price. So I'm just gonna give an overview of what you would need to buy when you buy a server PSU from Parallel Miner or any other vendor that you would like. First things first, the server PSU itself. This is quite a compact, this is my hand. So you can see kind of like what's what's their size. What you need to pay attention to when you buy these is the wattage. They usually have two types of ratings, one for 120 volts or 110 to 120, and another is for 240 volts. Some of them only take 240 volts, so you have to kind of be aware of that. I personally got one that takes, that is a 1200 watts at 220 or 240 volts, and that is 900 watts at 110 to 120 volts. Where I live, uh, it's uh, 110 or 120 volts. So what I should be expecting to get out of this is 900 watts maximum. Now, I never push it to that end. I'm usually hovering around the 80 to 85% range, sometimes even a little bit less. So typically you're getting 800, uh, 800 watts out of, out of this. With the server PSU, you're gonna need a couple of things. First thing, and the most, one of the most important things, is a breakout board. This is what you would use to connect your GPUs to the, uh, the, the PSU itself. There is a compatibility element to these, so make sure when you buy them, either buy them in a kit or if you buy them separately, make sure that this one is compatible with this one based on the serial code or whatever the ven vendor is kind of like uh, recommending. I know in the case of Parallel Miner, for example, this breakout board that I have, you cannot connect it directly to a motherboard. Uh, that means that means I need to do a dual PSU setup. I have this powering most of my GPUs and I have uh, usually a 650 or 550 watt uh, ATX PSU that I can get for very cheap on, let's say, Facebook Marketplace or your local kind of like marketplace. And then I have that powering the, the, the motherboard and I have this powering my uh, GPUs using uh, this breakout board. However, Parallel Miner has something called the ZX, um, ZXZ board or ZXV board or something like that. I, I forgot what it's called, the breakout board. I'll put it in, down in the description or somewhere, uh, somewhere on the side over here. Uh, it's a little bit bigger and it has an ATX power connector. So you can connect directly to your motherboard and power to your GPUs uh, at the same time. It's fairly easy to connect. All you have to do is to kind of like slide it in. Uh, if you manage to do it. A little bit hard, I guess. Did I buy the wrong one? No way. Please don't tell me I bought the wrong one. Did I really buy the wrong one? Okay. I did not buy the wrong one. I did not buy the wrong one. It's good. So this is kind of how it sits. What I have noticed, and I don't know if you can see this parallel miner, you, you probably know about this problem. Your spacing over here, because how you because how these are constructed, there's a gap over here. So I'm sure there's a little bit of pressure on, on these pins right here. So what I usually do, I kind of elevate this uh, a little bit using a piece of wood when I place it on my rig or within my rig, uh, just so that I eliminate the pressure here at the uh, connector. And all you have to do in this case, you uh, power it, you power your GPUs with it. In this case, I have four times four, so 16 connectors and power on off button. This is display, shows you the voltage, current, all of that stuff and a, a Molex uh, power for uh, 
if, if that is needed. One thing, the other thing that you need with uh, your server PSU is, of course, do not forget because they don't sell them with it, is a power cable. Ideally, find something that is at least rated for uh, 10 amps, but if you can find something for uh, 15 amps, that would be a lot better. You can find these on Amazon um, and I'll put the links down below. Uh, one thing, I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit in regards to these uh, uh, breakout boards. My recommendation is to buy multiples, multiples. The reason why I say that is because I've already burned two of these and I've replaced them with parallel miner. They were very quick in their like kind of return policy or exchange policy, uh, replacement policy. Um, <clears throat> but it was very frustrating for me because I had bought one server power supply and one of these thinking that, you know, they're gonna just last a very long time. And uh, one day they just stopped working. Uh, this time I went and bought three of them. They're fairly cheap. I think right now they're on sale for $15. Uh, what else do we need? Let me place these here. We need cables. Get a bunch of cables. Uh, you know, depending on how many GPUs you have, these come, I believe, in 12, 24, and 36 uh, inches. These are the 24 inch ones. And then these are male to male, right? Because one at one end, it's, and these are six pin. Six pin to eight pin, right? Six pin is gonna go in, into your uh, PSU breakout board. And then your eight pin is gonna go, or six pin, I guess it depends what GPU you have, uh, into your GPU. And you can have multiple of them. Obviously, I bought a whole bunch of them. I always keep extra handy uh, just in case I need some more. Another useful thing to buy when you're buying your server PSUs are splitters. These are useful in case, let's say you are, in my case, if I'm powering something like a low power a GPU such as an RX 580 or a 1660 Super, uh, consumes anywhere from 70 to 85 watts. Uh, I've sometimes powered uh, the GPU with a single cable, a single cable, and I split it, basically. This is how it goes, you just split it into two, and I power, one side is uh, the GPU, um, eight pin, and then the other side is my uh, riser, uh, uh, you know, my, my riser for, for the GPU. So I've done that. These are very useful. I recommend you picking up a couple of them. They're also a couple of dollars. They're not uh, too expensive. Finally, <clears throat> these come with the uh, with the breakout boards uh, these days, and um, they're usually used to connect two uh, PSUs together. So let's say if you want to uh, power two PSUs at the same time, this is where it goes, and lets you connect another one. This way, when you power one, the other one powers on at the same time. So I'm gonna conclude this video. I'm gonna show you my current setup and how I've used them. You might have seen these. Uh, my, my setup in past videos, but I'll show you kind of how I did a dual PSU setup. One regular ATX uh, coupled with a server PSU. I'll uh, switch the video right now and I'll catch you after that. All right, so this is my current uh, server PSU setup. I know it's not super clean. I'm kind of reorganizing things. I have a um, normal ATX motherboard right here that powers my... Um, Sorry, normal ATX PSU that powers my uh, motherboard. Uh, right, oh my God, right there you can see it, uh, I guess, or not, maybe. Okay, yeah, right there. And I have my server PSU, similar to the one that I was showing you right now, powering one, two, three, four, actually one, two, three right now. I gotta hook this one up. Very basic, very straightforward. As I showed you, this is a breakup board, cables come out and then you just uh, connect them to the uh, GPU and then you're using this to power your motherboard. Or alternatively, you can get the, uh, the other breakup board, the ZS ZS ZSX, I keep, and then, and then um, just use that one to power this entire thing. All right, oh, here's a couple of uh, more looks. So I've got two cables powering let's say this 3080 and I've got another cable going to power the uh, uh, the riser in the back. Same thing with the other ones. That's a 3070 and then that is a 3070 as well. Cool. 
All right, folks, that's gonna be it. In today's video, we covered server PSUs and why I think they're a great purchase. I definitely recommend them. They're far cheaper, and I think uh, some of them are also far better. This is a platinum one. Uh, so uh, pick one up for your mining needs. Parallel Miner usually has a lot in stock, but if you have some other vendor that you can think of, please go ahead and, 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 and do so as well. Get it from there. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I know I've been absent uh, for a while now. It's been crazy and I haven't had access to my basement for a little bit now. Today is the first time I filmed from here in a very, very long time. So hopefully I can make it a habit again and, uh, and uh, and kind of like maintain maintain the rhythm uh, but we'll see life has been crazy until then i'll catch you on the next one take care of yourself bye bye